it's day five of our 20 day active aging fitness challenge with Karen. All right, I know that I usually um, give you a little warm up. So before you do the strength challenge today, it's 10 reps of the exercises and let's just sidestep a little bit. You always wanna do a light warm up and you can go to my YouTube channel and look for warm ups or just make up something on your own. So this will be quick, okay? A couple of side steps because we're gonna do lunges today, we're gonna do a little squat, we're really focusing on your core, stomach, back, and hips with really big moves that work a lot of muscles at once. Good, so your hips feel good, can you cross back? How tight are you in those glutes so that when you do your lunge, you have an idea of range of motion, what's tight, what's sticky, and what feels good. A couple more, can you cross it across your midline? Really important to warm that up. Nice, two more. Open up, soften the legs, very athletic, stomach muscles in, and push your weight from side to side. How's your knee, how's your hip, how's your back? You're gonna get a gentle pull in the inner thigh, a lot of weight drawing back, hands high on the thighs. Oh, this is gonna be a good strength day. Five days in, we're gonna do something for 20 days. Yeah, you're gonna get stronger, you're gonna feel good. Nice, one more each way, not bad. Find your center. I hope you have on shoes, something laced up, supportive. Open those knees. Good. Bring it up, turn your hands out, drop one shoulder, and then the other. Good. One more each way. Good. Hands high on the thighs. We never want to get down on the knees. Arch your back. Round it under. Hands high on the thighs, eyes up, chest up. Push your tailbone back. Think about how that feels. Okay, before we plank and do mountain climbers and then bring it up. Good. All right, roll your shoulders, inhale and exhale. One more. And then little rotations. Quite a few of our exercises today are gonna to require rotating through the core. So notice how I'm lifting the heel and the whole body and spine are going, right? That's your gentle way, very safe into your back, right? If you're having some back issues at home, that's the way you wanna lift something and rotate at the kitchen counter, in the bathroom. All right, plant your heels and little rotations. All right, that requires a little bit more through the core. You can feel a little twist in there, right? No pain in your back. Reach and reach, two more. Good, inhale it up, shake it all down, and stretch your neck. Oh. All right, so now you should know how you feel, right? I don't have any extra weight in this set, but you're more than welcome to pick up weights if you wanted to add weights to it. All right, seven exercises, we're gonna do 10 reps. All right, first exercise is a lunge with the rotation. So I'm gonna turn sideways. My working leg is my leg facing you. If you wanna face forward, let's start with your right leg. Step back, okay? Fingertips come up to your temple, all right? And then switch and do the other leg. So a little reverse lunge. So that's your lunge. You know the modification. How far down are you gonna go to the ground? Makes it way harder because you gotta come up. All right. So for me, I'm gonna take away my inside leg, fingertips to temple, rotate towards the front leg and come up, okay? We're gonna do 10 of those. So keep your right leg planted. If we're a mirror, step your left leg back, shoulders over hips, fingertips to temple, rotate. One, and center. Two, and I'm squeezing my butt, stabilizing with my core. Sink down if you wanna make it harder. Good. Find your balance. Good. And six, if this bothers your shoulders, lower down. Seven. Come on, come on, come on, squeeze your butt. Nice, now stay here, nine, 10. Before you come up, down and up. Good work, shake the legs, how'd you feel? I don't want any pain in the knee, but I really want you to work your posture. Shoulders over hips, don't just lean, lean into that. All right, so change legs, step your right leg back, okay? How does that feel back there? Knee behind your toe, don't push forward. Heel into the ground, sink, all right, you know what to do, 10 of them. One, good, two. 
exhale as you rotate. This is slow strength. Don't try to rush through it. Is your front big toe into the floor? Don't let that big toe come off the ground. So much technique here. Sink down farther if it's not hard enough. Good, two more. Show it over there, show it. Yeah, let's do one more for good measure. Go down before you come up, nice. So that was a lunge with rotation, shake the legs. How'd you feel? Nice. So you know, right, that step back, shoulders over hips, stomach muscles in, front heel into the ground. It's really common for that heel to come up or that big toe to come off. So work on that. All right, moving on. Squat, fine. With the knee lift and rotation. So let's check your squat. Bend, oh, come up, rotate. Bend and rotate, all right? So the knee comes up, you're gonna go down, come up, lift your knee and rotate towards that side. So think elbow to knee, okay? If you wanted to hold a weight, it would sit right here, okay? You would go down, come up and rotate, all right? Okay, you don't have to use the weight, but if you have one, we're gonna do 10 on the right, 10 on the left. All right, you gotta breathe. Take your time, this is strength. Don't speed through it, feel your body. Down and up, rotate and center. Think of core, stomach muscles, back, hips. Breathe. Maybe yours isn't as high, that's fine. Rotate, rotate. Good, halfway. Good, six. If you don't like that little pause, you can go seven, eight. Squeeze through the core, nine, 10. Good job, how'd you feel? Shake the legs, push your hips. So we should feel a little bit in the legs, around into that core when you rotate. All right, other side, relax your neck, circle. Hands up. We're gonna rotate to the left, right? Down, up, good. What I love about this is you have a nice squat, you come up, you go from two legs to one, and then you stick your landing, right? Always putting that foot right back where it was. Good, twist. Six. Take your time, seven. Abs in, rotate. Eight, even if it's low. Nice, nine. Your best two are right here. Last one. Good work, shake it out, squat. Heart rate goes up a little bit, so you gotta breathe, step side to side. Oh, nice work. All right, then we have side leg lifts. Shake the legs. If you need help with balance, bring a chair out, okay? Because we're gonna go one leg. Think about your posture, what is our goal? Core, okay? So eyes up, chest up, shoulders over hips, tilt, pelvic tilt, zip up those abs, shake your right leg away, and don't tip. Pull up, pull up, tip under, and lift. Feel that? All right, arms go off to the side. One, a little bit in front with the arms, two, Shoelace is facing me, pinky toe going up to the ceiling, slow. Five, tap down on your big toe. Don't put weight there and push. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good work, right on those buttons. All right, so before you do your other side, push through your feet a little bit. What's gonna happen naturally the smaller muscles want help, so they're gonna recruit the top of that leg to lift, okay? And we don't want that, so you really have to be mindful. Find your posture, take that left leg away. Your big toe is on the ground. Don't push on it if you don't have to. Keep your weight on your right side. Weight-bearing exercise, great to build up bone density, right? All that weight's driving down into that right, right side. Lift that heel, up, up, up. 
Draw this hip up, shoulders over hips, arms up, and lift. One, good. Two, I know there's balance there, and that's where that core stabilizing comes in. Shoelaces to me, pinky toe up to the ceiling. Good. If that standing leg gets tired, take a break. Come on, breathe, shoulders down. Nice, try not to push off there. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good work, good work. So important that we balance out those muscles, right? That we don't just train the really big ones, that we really get in and balance out your body. All right, so we did lunges with rotation, all right? We did squat with the knee lift rotating. Right? And then we did side leg, leg lifts. All right, let's move on. Oh, we have to do our knee to elbow. Was that an exercise? Before we go down on the ground, let me make sure that I'm giving you what I put up. So we have lunges, standing knee to, knee to elbow. All right, we're a little out of order, but that's okay. Right side, this one, you turn your toe up to the ceiling, fingertip to temple, and your knee goes to your elbow, okay? Try to keep this one like you're pushed between two pieces of glass, okay? See how you only see one leg, right? You don't see two of my legs or two, arm, two shoulders. And then you tip to the side and down and tip, okay? So toe onto the ceiling, we're gonna crunch through the core and make a little tip. See the tip? That's really what you want to work on. And there's a ton of balance. Strengthen your glutes and your hips, stomach muscles, and we're up. All right, fingertip to temple. This one, shoelaces up to the ceiling. One, little tap down. Two, three, try not to put the whole foot down. Four, and five, and six, and seven. Soft knee on that standing leg. Eight, nine, ten. Good work, change sides. Shoelaces up to the ceiling, up high, fingertip to temple. Bending one and two. Squeeze through that core. Take your time. Tip the shoulders. Are you tipping? Tip. Lift that knee. Tip. Seven. Eight and nine. Did you fall forward? No. Ten. Good work. I almost forgot about that one. Push forward. Oh. Round forward, pull back. All right, we're gonna go down to the ground. You're gonna hold plank for 10 seconds, 10 mountain climbers, roll onto your back, 10 bicycles, and then you're done with your strength series. So go down, find your alignment, knee and hip lined up. If you're going onto the wrists, wrist over the shoulder, Today, let's go like a number 11 or two goal posts. I don't want them hooked. Okay. And we hold. One. Good. Keep holding. Stomach muscles and squeeze your butt. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. Breathe. Mountain climbers on the hands. Toes out. We come in. One. Two three, four, take your time, level hips, seven, eight, nine, ten, lower down, oh, come onto your back, roll back, relax your neck, all right, if your neck bothers you, right, you leave it down, bring your legs in, low back into the mat, and you're going to alternate, boop, boop, ten of them, okay, if your neck is strong, lift up, Open up those elbows, legs lift, and you're going to go opposite arm to leg, okay? Think armpit to knee, rotate, and these are slow, not, not quick ones. We're, we're going to count right and left as one. Come on, you can do it. Stay five. Stay five. All right, here we go. Low back, good. Lift the head, abs in tight. One, one. Lengthen that leg. Pull the other leg in. Three. Three. Don't
Don't stress your neck. Look to the side, look to the side. Halfway, reach that way. Six, six, stay with it. Seven, if it bothers your back, take a break. Eight, eight, nine, and nine. Come on, 10, 10. Oh, good work. Drive up, release those legs. Are you guys so that was great now if you watched this and you thought oh my god I can't go all the way down and do my plank down on the ground okay you're more than welcome to do that plank work from the chair or the couch right plank mountain climb yeah okay so you know you have options you have to listen to your body all right if that felt good do it again Okay, one time through is your goal, moving your body, setting yourself up for success for the rest of the day, right? So you can continue to move around and not just flop on the couch all day. All right, I look forward to seeing you at the stretch goal for today too. 10 minutes of cardio, a stretch series, you can stretch on your own 10, 15 minutes, and then do the little strength series. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.